All right, so let's warm up. Warm up first so we can perform later. Super important, yet super neglected by a lot of us. So warm up, man. Fucking warm up or your performance will be affected. Basically, you can't lift as much shit if you're not warm. So you gotta keep warm, gotta make sure the shoulders are nice and warm for today's workout because it's gonna be a high volume shoulder workout. It's gonna be a lot of fun too, but we need to make sure our joints, the ligaments, the muscles are moving properly. Everything is efficient. So I do a basic warm up like this. I already did five minutes of cardio, light intensity cardio. And then I'm doing this right here for a warm up. I'm gonna do a couple of presses neutral like this and then switch it to pronated grip. Just to warm up, nothing crazy. It's a warm up. It's not a working set. Two, three, four, neutral grip. Okay, and then I just like to press overhead as fast as possible. Speed is key for power. And today we're doing overhead presses with the barbell. You gotta be fast. The faster you go, the easier the movement will be. The slower you go, the harder the movement is. Speed is power, you gotta be fast. For my overhead presses, for my grip, I like to take a shoulder width grip. I just put my hands beside me, put my hands straight up like this, and that's my grip that I take. for this last warm-up set and then I'm gonna do two push presses at the end with my knees uh, to just get the movement pattern starting in the back of my head and my body so that's my uh, strategy that works for me anyways for uh, push presses three strict presses and then I'm gonna do two push presses so look this is what I mean And then I'm gonna use my knees now and do strict presses or push presses. What I'm gonna test right now is, I have three hats right here to make sure I have zero visibility because what I'll do, I'm gonna do a push press blind. What I'll do, let me, look at this shit. Look how black, you can't see through this shit at all. Look, look, you see anything? You see anything? What about this one? You see shit through this one? Do you? Wait, I'll put this one on first. I have to see where I'm going first though. So gotta do my setup for lifting first. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I can't really put this one on because it's just not gonna go all the way up and down. So I'll have to take my grip first. Holy shit, it's gonna be hard to take a good grip equally though. Um, I'm gonna try to go by feeling first. Wait, hang on. Where is it? Right here? Right here, I think. This is the blind push press.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It feels good. The fuck am I doing? Shit. <laughs> Where am I going? My first rep, my dip, or my lockout, sorry, was not very fast. So you, you could see, look, I was struggling. It should be smooth, it should be like that. So that's why I did two reps. My second rep, much better because I was fast. Chalk up the elbows. Make sure the barbell doesn't go anywhere. We don't want that to slip in front of us, you know? Let's go! music do scream a little bit not too much just enough screaming sometimes just lifts up the adrenaline and gets you ready for your set let's go let's go Should be a good mix right here of hard enough, but not easy enough, but still good enough, but not too hard, but still not too easy, but still good enough, but not too hard, but still easy and good, but not too hard and easy, but still hard, but easy, but not really easy. Let's get it.
first exercise we'll do to isolate the front part of our shoulder right here. Upright rows. So I'm going to grab myself a, a shoulder width grip. What I like to do, slightly bend my knees, hinge my chest forward, like lean my chest forward a little bit to put even more tension on the front delt when rowing upright. So look at this. Uh, I'm going to go for 10 reps, but I'm going to go all the way up, all the way down every single time and wait in between every single rep. At the very top right here, I try to hold it, hold it, Oof. go back down, hold it, squeeze, go back down. set right now of upright rows we'll do a drop set and then we'll do a super set to really put a lot of volume in a short amount of time and get these delts bigger so let's get it same concept that I did earlier shoulder width grip full range of motion Stay comfortable. If you're comfortable during your workouts, you're probably doing something wrong. It should be uncomfortable. It should hurt. You should be exhausted ex mentally and physically. Some sessions, not all the time. I'm not saying to gas yourself out every fucking time, but you should be uncomfortable doing shit sometimes because that's where growth lies. Last but not least today, we're going to do some lateral raises for the side part of our shoulder right here to get that separation right here. So we're going to do a set of 10 reps, lower the weight, immediately go for another 8 reps. We're going to focus on raising and keeping our elbow around this angle right here. This is the angle I'm going to raise right here and then drop set and I'm going to go for a straight arm lateral raise. So let's get it. Let's get it. Enough talking. Try to hold it at the top, feel the burn. Slightly hold, feel the burn.